Hi everyone, Station Master Joe here. Now I bought this little green Peckett W4 saddle tank engine back in July earlier this year when I went on the Burr Valley Railway in Norfolk. And when I purchased this little green Peckett W4 saddle tank engine, it reminded me of when the Fat Controller bought a little green saddle tank engine many years ago. Even though that little green saddle tank engine was a full standard gauge size saddle tank engine and not a Hornby 00 gauge model saddle tank engine. That little green saddle tank engine was of course Percy and the story I'm about to read to you explains why the Fat Controller brought Percy to the island of Sodor in the first place. That story is taken from this book, Troublesome Engines which was written by the Reverend Wilbur Tawdry, published in 1950, and is the fifth book of the Railway series. So, are you sitting comfortably, boys and girls? Great! Then I shall begin. The story is called Trouble in the Shed. The Fat Controller sat in his office and listened. The Fat Controller frowned and said, what a nuisance passengers are. How can I work with all this noise? The station master knocked and came in, looking worried. There's trouble in the shed, sir. Henry is sulking, there is no train, and the passengers are saying this is a bad railway. Indeed, said the fat controller. We cannot allow that. Will you quiet the passengers, please? I will go and speak to Henry. He found Henry, Gordon and James looking sulky. Come along, Henry, he said. It is time your train was ready. Henry's not going, said Gordon rudely. We won't shunt like common tank engines. We are important tender engines. You fetch our coaches and we will pull them. Tender engines don't shunt and all three engines let off steam in a cheeky way. Oh, indeed, said the Fat Controller severely. We'll see about that. Engines on my railway do as they are told. He hurried away, climbed into his car and drove to find Edward. The yard has never been the same since Thomas left, he thought sadly. Edward was shunting. Leave those trucks, please, Edward. I want you to push coaches for me in the yard. Thank you, sir. That will be a nice change. That's a good engine, said the Fat Controller kindly. Off you go, then. So Edward found coaches for the free engines, and that day the trains ran as usual. But when the Fat Controller came next morning, Edward looked unhappy. Gordon came clanking past, hissing rudely. Bless me, said the Fat Controller. What a noise! They all hiss me, sir, answered Edward sadly. They say tender engines don't shunt, and last night they said I had black wheels. I haven't, have I, sir? No, Edward, you have nice blue ones, and I'm proud of you. Tender engines do shunt, but all the same you'd be happier in your own yard. We need a tank engine here. He went to an engine workshop and they showed him all sorts of tank engines. There were big ones and little ones. Some looked happy and some sad, and some looked at him anxiously, hoping he would choose them. At last he saw a smart little green engine with four wheels. That's the one, he thought. If I choose you, will you work hard? Oh, sir, yes, sir. That's a good engine. I'll call you Percy. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, said Percy happily. So he bought Percy and drove him back to the yard. Edward, he called. Here's Percy. Will you show him everything? Percy soon learned what he had to do, and they had a happy afternoon. Once Henry came by hissing as usual. Weesh! said Percy suddenly. Henry jumped and ran back to the shed. How beautifully you wished him, laughed Edward. I can't wish like that. Oh, said Percy modestly, that's nothing. You should hear them in the workshop. You have to wish loudly to make yourself heard. 
Next morning, Thomas arrived. The fat controller sent for me. I expect he wants help, he said importantly to Edward. Shh, shh, here he comes. Well done, Thomas. You've been quick. Listen, Henry Gordon James are sulking. They say they won't shunt like common tank engines. So I've shut them up and I want you both to run the line. Common tank engines indeed, snorted Thomas. We'll show them. And Percy here will help too, said the fat controller. Oh, sir, yes, sir, please, sir, answered Percy excitedly. Edward and Thomas worked the line. Starting at opposite ends, they paused the trains, whistling cheerfully to each other as they passed. Percy sometimes puffed along the branch line. Th Thomas was anxious, but both driver and guard promised to take care of Annie and Clarabelle. There were fewer trains, but the passengers didn't mind. They knew the three other engines were having a lesson. Henry, Gordon and James stayed shut in the shed and were cold, lonely and miserable. They wished now they hadn't been so silly. You'll be pleased to know, boys and girls, that after spending several days shut up in the shed, and after having learnt their lesson, of course, Henry, Gordon and James were let out again. Until the next video, folks, this is Station Master Joe, over and out. Thank you very much for watching, viewers. Stay safe, take care, and God bless.